realizing that weekly videos isn't really a thing. We don't have reliable enough internet to be doing this with any kind of regularity. Um, but I'm going to hope just to keep making videos of Courtney and I's adventures throughout the 2019 field season. So this week was all about looking for herring spawn. When Pacific herring come up from the deep depths they live at to the near shore and get ready to lay all their eggs. We've been doing research on this for well, over four years now, but uh, it doesn't really matter how well you plan when you're working with fish. You never really know where they are or what they're going to be doing. And that's what happened this year. Is while we were making our way up to the central coast, they spawned about two weeks earlier than they usually do. looking for herring spawn you don't really know where the fish are going to shallow up and a lot of the time you're relying upon wildlife looking for some sea lions whales or large amounts of birds and that gives you an idea that that's the spot where all the fish are starting to congregate and may continue to spawn uh, so all the sea lions and the whales are feeding on the fish themselves whereas a lot of the birds feed upon the eggs that get deposited on the shore dive surveys, so that's going to spots on the coast where not a lot of people have had the chance to be underwater and documenting what's there. And this site is just covered in plumus and enemy. And initially I thought, whoa, what a productive area. And then I learned about pedal laceration, where these anemones clone themselves by leaving a piece of their foot behind. And a lot of these dive sites were researching Central Coast rockfish populations. So these are all quillback rockfish. Right now they're a species of concern, uh, but we're working on figuring out just how concerned we should be. So this is what we're looking for when we're going around looking for herring spawning. This is the male herring releasing their milt, their sperm, and that triggers the females to deposit eggs on basically any substrate available. Uh, they pick kelp a lot of the time. But you can get so many eggs on a piece of kelp that it'll actually weigh it down to the bottom. So the herring are, are really important ecologically. They're a forage fish, which means that all other animals in the ocean depend on them for food throughout the food chain. Uh, they're also really important commercially. There's been commercial fisheries for hundreds of years, as well as culturally. Uh, Central Coast First Nations will actually set 
hemlock boughs in the water for the herring to spawn on, and that's uh, traditional food that goes back millennia. 